Hey guys, it's Rick with Bama Products again with another video for you guys. If you haven't already, go down below and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and tap that notification bell so we'll notify you anytime there's a video uploaded here from Bama Aquatics. So today we're going to talk a little bit about our, um, our pump, our air pump, and how we're going to disperse the air. I'm going to show you in a few minutes the way I've been doing it, but I have an idea that I think and hope will help things to work out a whole lot better. I've got quite a mess behind here of airline running from all over. I just use one air pump and it takes care of all the tanks that I have in this room, which is awesome. But I've got quite the mess of airline because I've added tank by tank and layer by layer and then added more tanks in. So I've got quite a mess of airline behind there. So I'm hoping with a few of these guys hooked up and a few little changes, maybe I can clean up the airline and get this looking a little bit better behind here where maybe I can get my pumps going a little bit more evenly. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now, I'm going to show you some of the steps in between, and then we're going to come back and show you what it looks like at the end. So hopefully this will be beneficial to you guys that maybe don't have so many tanks set up, so you won't make the same mistakes I do. And you can go ahead and get these earlier. I think these came from Petco, and I think this four-way valve is about $8, I believe. And so they're not really expensive, and it'll help out a whole lot to keep your fish room and to keep your airlines a whole lot neater. So let's take a look now at what I've got. And then we'll show you the process and we'll come back and show you what happens at the end. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, I just used this one air pump here that has four outlets on the back. And this runs my entire fish room. But as you can see here, I've got one of those valves hooked up already that I'm going to go ahead and change. As you can see here, I've got things split off and I have to have check valves in, in between in order to make sure that. Uh, all the pumps keep going because some seem to be more powerful than others or the air resistance is less so anyway we hope to clean this up some and to help to straighten this all out and hopefully we'll be able to get more air to the uh, to the uh, pumps as we need it so this is what it looks like now it's quite a mess just split up every different direction so we're going to disconnect everything and begin to hook it back up and hopefully this will look a whole lot better when we get done be right back guys guys we've got the first one installed so we just took one uh, valve here and we split it off one of the uh, airlines here the outputs and we've got the top four tanks all running off that and so that's working out great so so far so good as you can see the uh, tanks are doing good this one I'm doing a little changing on I'm gonna move the shrimp out of this tank so they've got the water level down a little bit but as you can see all the pumps on this level are working great working fine all pumping out the bubbles that we need so now we're going to move on to the next level and it has four tanks on it as well so we're going to work on that level next guys after level two you can see that the uh, all these tanks on the second level now are uh, bubbling up nice it makes it nice too because i have them or organized and if I need to change the uh, flow on one of them, then I'll know which valve I need to adjust, and so that will make it a whole lot easier. Guys, I'm still doing some work here as far as on the tank maintenance, but all the uh, tank's uh, air uh, lines are hooked back up. You can see they're all running pretty well. I only had three, so I've got to do these three over here a little later, but I had enough to get these four over here going. So you may have also noticed I added some more tanks. Gonna have some updates coming up on that. So stay tuned. But I think the airline um, uh, straightening out will uh, help a lot. And uh, over here are all the different pieces that I ended up having left after I reconnected the, uh, the airline. So I've got the all kinds of little T's and valves and all that stuff left. So. Anyway, I definitely straightened it up a whole lot, made it a lot simpler, so I'm, in, I'm happy with the uh, progress. So thanks for watching, guys. Come back again and see another video here from good old Bama. Thanks. Bye.